3-18 is jumps out as being one that's really good for the contours and region, especially if we were to put the, the front plane kind of along this intermediate face. I can draw the rectangle and the line geometry and the holes and pretty much get that shape all in one in one shot. Okay, so let's close uh, 17 since I didn't do that. This is a metric part again. We're opening up the sketch on the front plane. And no real reason to uh, to pick another origin, so we'll leave it in the lower left corner drawing in quadrant one. By 60. Okay, and then uh, let's go to sketch entities more as an illustration. I'm trying to also going to try and use the S key a little bit more. Again, whatever you're you're comfortable with, the hotkey on the keyboard also uh, works with uh, the L command or the L key. So seven millimeters. We have. Uh, let's see. Do we have a distance for that one, or do we have? 22 degrees both surfaces. So if we were to bring that out to 22 degrees, then that angle, well, let's just see what that distance is. So drop in a driven, it's at about 12.6. The holes were at about 12. So just off screen, I'm picking up, well, let's, let's stay with the, um, the L on the keyboard. All right, so I do want to make sure I don't pick up the midpoint. I want it to be coincident. And did I infer parallelism? Nope, nothing shows up over here. Don't have any of the little boxes when I highlight. So we'll force those to be parallel. And then I have 38 millimeters on the length. Okay, and then we can put in the two hole locations. So rough sketch those in, select, control, select, set them to equal. We'll place a dimension and we have 14 millimeters two places 12 millimeters from the top and 27 millimeters from the top okay and then uh, horizontal position is 30 And from the left, 25. All right, so process of elimination, we're getting this to go fully defined. Now we can pick up our shape. So features, extrude, I want the two regions, and I'm going to reverse the direction. And we have a depth of 15 millimeters. And so that gives me the back and the upper shape. And then hitting the little arrow, Selecting the sketch, going back into the extrude, picking the forward face. It's also 15 millimeters. It's coming in the correct direction. I go ahead and accept, and that gives me the uh, the shape. So a quick save. For 18. And we're ready for the next one.